All right, guys, let's go over our web quest alternate assignment. So you're going to start with either a blank piece of paper or a blank document on notability. And you're going to split your paper into 10 equal sections. And each section is going to have its own little assignment. All right, in section one right here, you're going to draw and label the parts of the kelp. Now, yeah, you can copy and paste a picture into this section. However, you have to label the parts in your own handwriting. Don't copy and paste a pre label diagram. First, it's usually wrong, and second, it's going to receive no credit. Okay? Be sure that you use the proper vocabulary. Say pneumaticist, not gas bladder. All right, then in section two right here, you're going to draw and label the four parts of the kelp forest, like the canopy, the midstory, the holdfast, and the sea floor. Now, you can copy and paste a picture in there, but you have to label the parts in your own handwriting. All right, don't copy and paste a pre-label diagram. This will receive zero credit. Now, you can hand draw it. I've got no problems with that. Okay, in color. All right, section three lists three producers found in the kelp forest. Then you're going to draw one, okay? Now, you either draw one or you copy and paste a picture of one of them, okay? Um, your list of organisms have to be handwritten. Section four is also a list of consumers now. Just a list. It's not anything like a sentence, okay? You're listing three consumers found in the kelp forest. One has to be an herbivore and one has to be a carnivore. The other one can be whatever you want it to be. So you're going to identify which one is the herbivore and which one is the carnivore in your list. You're going to provide a picture of one. Either you drew it or you copy and pasted it from the internet. Okay, however, your list of creatures has to be handwritten. Section 5 is three decomposers found in the kelp forest. You're going to pick one of the three and you're going to provide a picture. You can either draw it or you can copy and paste it from the internet. However, your list has to be handwritten. Section 6, you're going to research one type of gastropod, a sea bunny, a sea hare, a sea slug, or a sea butterfly. You're going to illustrate this species you research. You can copy and paste the picture, you can hand draw it either way. As long as it's in color, you're in good shape. Tell me its scientific name with proper binomial nomenclature, meaning its genus and species, capitalized genus, lowercase species, underline both words. All right, you're going to explain one adaptation of your gastropod in your own handwriting, and you're going to tell me its habitat, like where in the world it can be found, and it's okay if it is not in the kelp forest. Describe and illustrate, it's section 7, I'm sorry, you're going to describe and illustrate human activities that negatively impact the kelp forest ecosystem. So you're going to have three pictures in this one, okay? And you need to actually handwrite a complete sentence describing how these three human activities negatively impact the kelp forest ecosystem. Then in section 8, this is, these are the big points coming up here, okay? You describe and illustrate three, three human activities that positively help the kelp forest ecosystem. It might help to Google kelp forest restoration. And then you're going to have three pictures that you're going to provide showing the three activities that humans are doing. And you're going to have complete sentences here that show me describe, you describing how the kelp are impacted positively by humans. Section 9, you're going to describe and illustrate three products or ways that kelp is being used. And you're going to provide three pictures and you're going to explain it. Then finally, in the last section, you're going to tell me about three fun facts that you learned about the kelp forest. Okay, try and be as complete as possible. The last ten points, research, organization, effort, neatness. You know, are you creative? How did you design it? Is it accurate? Did you spell things right? Okay. I've provided you with some links to help start you on your way. You don't have to use them, but I think they would be helpful. I will be on Google Meets. If you have any more questions, feel free to log on and uh, ask me any questions you got or just say hi. Okay.